Joyous feast day, brothers and sisters in Christ. It has been a little while since we've gathered together in this kind of format to celebrate in a bed that's set together since we've been able to be back at church, but with the weather, uh, the snow continuing to be forecast to fall, and we got a lot yesterday, it seemed like this is the right context for us to gather this morning. So glad that you're with us. Uh, please pray together with us as we celebrate our festal uh, obedness of, of the meeting of the Lord in the temple. God grant me sin, have mercy on me. God grant me sin, have mercy on me. God grant me sin, have mercy on me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed Metropolitan Tikon, Lord, companions of the Diocese of New England, for the Honorable Priest of the Diocese in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the President of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, Pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, mercy. For our deliverance from all of us, danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. <clears throat> My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made to the King. The, the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Full of grace are your lips. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. 
commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For yours is the majesty and yours are the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages <clears throat> of ages. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O most mighty, in your glory and your beauty. O Son of God, carry in the arms of Simeon the righteous. Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Lend your bow and prosper and reign. O Son of God, carry in the arms of Simeon the righteous. Save us who sing to you. People shall be subdued under you. You shall pierce the heart of the king's enemies. Oh, o Son of God, carried in the arms of Simeon the righteous, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. The scepter of your kingdom is a righteous scepter. O Son of God, carried in the arms of Simeon the righteous, save us who <clears throat> sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Son of God, carried in the arms of Simeon the righteous, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. <clears throat> Glory to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and immortal Word of God, who for our salvation was to be incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, who without change became man and was crucified. O Christ our God, trampling down death by death, who are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you. For you are a good God and love mankind, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Hearken, O daughter, and consider, and incline your ear. Forget also your own people and your Father's house. Rejoice, O Virgin Theotokos, full of grace. From you shone the Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, enlightening those who sat in darkness. Rejoice and be glad, O righteous Elder. You accepted in your arms the Redeemer of our souls. 
who grants us our resurrection. Even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor. Rejoice, O Virgin Theotokos, full of grace. From you shall the Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, enlightening those who sat in darkness. Rejoice and be glad, O righteous elder, you accepted in your arms the Redeemer of our souls, who grants us the resurrection. I will make your name to be remembered in all generations. Rejoice, O Virgin Theotokos, full of grace. From you show the Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, enlightening those who sat in darkness. Rejoice and be glad, O righteous elder, you accepted in your arms the Redeemer of our souls, who grants us the resurrection. Wisdom, let us attend. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his righteousness before the nations. Rejoice, O Virgin Theotokos, full of grace. From you shall the Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, enlightening those who sat in darkness. Rejoice and be glad, O righteous elder, you accepted in your arms the Redeemer of our souls, who grants us the resurrection. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Sanctified the virgin's womb, and bless in the incense of Christ God. Now you have come and saved us through love, grant peace to all Orthodox Christians, O Holy Mother. Or holy are you, O our God, and unto you is Christ glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto <clears throat> ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Savior. For he is 
regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, all generations will call me blessed. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Wisdom. The reading is from the epistle of the holy apostle Paul to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, uh, beyond all contradiction, the lesser is blessed by the better. Here mortal men receive tithes, but there he receives them of whom it is witnessed that he lives. Even Levi, who receives tithes, pay tithes to Abraham, so to speak. For he was still in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. Therefore, perfection were through the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law. What further need was there that another priest should rise according to the order of Melchizedek and not be called according to the order of Aaron? For the priesthood being changed of necessity, there is also a change of the law. For he of whom these things are spoken belongs to another tribe from which no man has officiated at the altar. <clears throat> For it is evident that our Lord arose from Judah, of which tribe Moses spoke nothing concerning priesthood. And it is far yet more evident if the likeness of Matthew that arises another priest who has come not according to the law of a fleshly commandment, but according to the power of an endless love. For he testifies you are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. <clears throat> and to your spirit, hallelujah in the eighth tone, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word, for mine eyes have seen your salvation. Alleluia. in the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. <clears throat> Alleluia. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who loves mankind with the pure light of your divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of your gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of your blessed commandments that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto you. For you are the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God. And to you we ascribe glory together with your fathers from everlasting, your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, let us attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, the infant Jesus was brought up to Jerusalem by his parents to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, looking for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death, 
before he had seen the Lord's Christ, and inspired by the Spirit, he came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of God, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign that is spoken against, and a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that thoughts out of many hearts may be revealed. And there was a prophetess Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age, having lived with her husband seven years from her virginity, and as a widow till she was 84, she did not depart from the temple, worshiping with fasting and prayer night and day. And coming up at that very hour, she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all who were looking for the redemption in Jerusalem. And when they had performed everything according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own city, Nazareth, and the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ, Glory going forever. forever. Joyous feast day on this, the feast of the meeting of the Lord in the temple. Beginning with Vespers last night, the first Old Testament reading uh, gave account of how at the time that Moses and the people were led out of Egypt, the Passover event, leaving their bondage and going into new life together, one of the first things that the Lord said to Moses to share with the people is that the firstborn among the people should be made holy unto God. And so he began this kind of covenantal relationship that had come through Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and now today was reaffirmed through Moses at the time of the Exodus. No, they had not yet crossed into the promised land, but yet God had set them apart in this time of Exodus and had given them a covenantal calling to set apart those first children to be holy unto God. Brothers and sisters, we hear as a connecting figure from that time until now, this figure of Melchizedek. In our men's study group, we have been reading the book of the Hebrews and studying this figure that appears in the time of Abraham and is referenced in these latter days as Jesus comes into the world by St. Paul and by others. This figure, Melchizedek, is a figure who apparently has no origins. He appears, he is there, he provides hospitality. And if we sit for a moment and think about this, God speaking to the people at the time of the Exodus through Moses and this figure Melchizedek being part of that covenanted community. Today, as we celebrate the meeting of the Lord in the temple, coming to fulfill that law which was given to Moses, that covenantal calling, the same is being fulfilled today. Jesus is brought as a 40-day-old into the temple, and Simeon receives and blesses him and sees salvation before the end of his life. And so, brothers and sisters, if we sit with this for a moment, we see that that story of the Exodus and the story of the incarnation have these common points, this sense of fulfillment, 
of what the people were called to do at the time of this great exodus out of Egypt. That today we celebrate the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will free us from the bondage of our human nature, which includes sickness and death. That he will free us from our bondage to death. So as Melchizedek was present there, our Lord Jesus Christ is present with us today, showing us the way to salvation, literally being the way <coughs> to salvation. And so we celebrate this feast today, brothers and sisters, as again, this fulfillment, all that was spoken about by the prophets and in the law and in the Old Testament, all is being fulfilled here today. Lastly, brothers and sisters, today is an unofficial feast day for a certain part of our church community, and that is for our seminarians. During my years at St. Tikhon's, Father Sergius would always speak of this on this feast day because the seminarians, when they come to seminary, the first thing they do is they come to the church. They are received in like manner. Their Catholics are blessed that they might begin their period of studies. And so this feast, among others, is a time to reflect on, to remember, to celebrate those who respond to this calling and to remind us that we need to continue to find those that are willing to respond to this call to serve Christ's holy church to follow after these images that we have reflected upon today, that figure Melchizedek offering hospitality, our Lord Jesus Christ, who comes to free us from the bondage of death by being our salvation. Those who follow after that vocational calling are called to bear witness, to bear witness to these wonderful events that we celebrate. One of our faithful asked about uh, at the time of the nativity, how long is the nativity feast? And there are several answers to that question. And I've been thinking more about that question for today. The period of the feast of the nativity lasts four or days or so on the time of the feast. But we also said, that the nativity feast is the first of two beginnings of our Lord Jesus Christ, the second being his baptism and theophany. But we could say today that the feast of the meeting of the Lord is the keeping of that 40 days of time of celebration, the fullness of his coming into the world that he is received. All is fulfilled of these Old Testament covenants and we have that lasting prayer of St. Simeon that we pray all year round. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all people. May we be renewed in our spirit today, <clears throat> even though we will not be able to bless candles here in our homes. We'll wait to do that on Sunday. But the light of the candle reflects the light of Christ, salvation showing us the way of freedom from bondage to death. Let us celebrate our Lord Jesus Christ's victory as he comes to be with us today, as he enters the temple, which he will do many times during his earthly ministry, showing us the way to salvation, our Lord Jesus Christ. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. forever. And joyous feast day. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of our holy house, for all of our parents and brethren, the orthodox departed this life before us, especially the archimandrite Alexander, the mitered archpriests Eugene and Daniel, the archpriests Joseph and James, the servants of God, Judith, Catherine, Anna, Mohim, and Christobal, and you hear and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, for those who are sick and suffering, especially the martyred archpriest Michael, the Matushki, Natasha, Anastasia, and her family, Cynthia Elizabeth, Delphi, and Mara, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Roseanne, Elaine, Maria, Joseph, Lucy, David, Carol, Anna, Robert, John, Maria, Sandra, and Stephen, those suffering from the coronavirus, including Matushka, Nancy, Lynn, Shirley, Laura, and family, Mitchell, Thomas, and Marsha, Byron, Rana, Susan, Deborah, Robert, and Miriam, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the, that the Lord our God in his mercy and providential care for us will call forth for our diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an arch pastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith, in loving service to one another, and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and all venerable house, for those who labor, those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God and love mankind, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy <clears throat> Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, almighty Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, visible and invisible, <laughs> in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness. You hear our cry in repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, our caregivers, all of our chaplains ministering to them. We pray for those developing and distributing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now mm -hmm. and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. The heavenly choir sings to you and cries, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Come unto him and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. The heavenly choir sings to you and cries, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The choir of holy angels, archangels, with all the powers of heaven, sing your praises and do cry, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Now and ever and unto ages of <laughs> ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and 
and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and descended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O God, remit, pardon, and forgive our sins, whether voluntary or involuntary, whether by words or deeds, whether in knowledge or in ignorance, whether by day or night, whether in mind or thought, forgive us all these, for you are good and love mankind. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. O all holy Trinity, mighty one in essence, kingdom undivided, origin of all good things, be graciously inclined also to us sinners, establish us, give understanding to our hearts, and purge away all our vileness. Enlighten our minds that we may glorify, sing praises, and adore you and sing. One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and his forth and glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord and forth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord and forth and forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy is the man who takes refuge in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O oh children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and covets many days that he may enjoy good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears toward their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He kept all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. O tokos hope of all Christians, protect, preserve, and save those who hope in you. We faithful saw the figure in the shadow of the law and the scriptures. Every male child that opened the womb was holy to God. Therefore, we also magnify the first begotten Son of the unoriginate fathers, the first fourth Son of the unwedded Mother. Glory to you, <coughs> Christ our God and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, you know, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May he who deigned to be born in the arms of Simeon the righteous for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, of our holy glorious honorable prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John of the Holy Glorious and all honorable apostles and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and mm -hmm. loves mankind. Amen. Joyous feast day once again on this, the feast of the meeting of the Lord in the temple. We pray that you have a celebratory and safe day today and we look forward to gathering again for services. The next uh, virtual services we'll have will be Vespers this evening at 5.30 for the second day of the feast. And um, we'll be watching how the weather unfolds in the days after that. So God bless and be with all of you. From you shown the Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, enlightening those who sat in darkness. Rejoice and be glad, O righteous elder, you accepted in your arms a Redeemer of our souls, who grants us the resurrection.